Hey, it's Toku Sister here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks to all my new subscribers. I've got another reaction video coming at you for... Uh, what? Okay, so I know it's not Anime Sister, and uh, no, I'm not going to watch whatever anime it is you want me to watch. I don't watch a whole lot of anime, but you might have noticed I do really, really like Dragon Ball. I like Dragon Ball Z to a slightly lesser extent, and I like Dragon Ball Super, ah, probably about as much as normal regular old vanilla Dragon Ball. Except those early episodes, oh man. Oh boy, I like playing me some Dragon Ball Fighter Z. that's the right way to say it. Game creators, what's your problem? You should, you should say it like the show, it's Dragon Ball Z, you should call it Dragon Ball Fighter. I have my own Dragon Ball Z hat, which, why aren't I wearing that? That... I have my own Dragon Ball Z hat. I made it. I sewed that on myself. By hand. So I really like Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super. Uh, only saw a little tiny bit of... Uh, what was it? Dragon Ball Super Heroes? I don't know if this has to do with it, but there's a new Dragon Ball Z movie. Yeah, Dragon Ball Normal movie. Yeah, Dragon Ball Super movie. There's a new Dragon Ball related movie, and it is called Dragon Ball Super Superhero. And, um, here is computer animated. You know me. I hate that. I don't want to bash it all the time. Obviously, there's a time and a place for it. It can look pretty darn good. I do like me a Pixar movie, sure. But I like cartoons more better. I want to see it be hand-drawn. I want to know that a human being made it. I want to see the mark of their soul on Goku's sick fist as he- I want to see something that makes me feel like I could do it. I mean, yeah, sure, digital art has never been more accessible than ever, but I, I don't know, if, if he looks like something you could draw on the margins of your notebook or something, that feels real, man. That's why I like Saiyan Saga. Dragon Ball Z the best. That's peak Dragon Ball Z. You just don't get better than that 90s perfection. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this movie. I don't want to, you know, knock it till I try it. But hey, sure. Let's watch the Dragon Ball Super movie and see. He's got boo hair. He's like a human boo. Is the red ribbon, was that? A little chameleon. Oh, they got their kid, eh? This isn't a computer. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's like... I didn't hate that. I don't know. It still feels cheap about it being all computery, but I don't know. It looked okay. Looked like watching a sick cutscene in Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Um, I don't know. There looked like there's that cool Great Saiyan man, Chameleon. There's that guy, Grey Poupon there. Um, there was Piccolo, who got looked like he's getting hit, as happens to Piccolo. Yeah, how come there wasn't any, like, yeah? <laughs> I wanted to see fighting. Maybe they haven't animated the fighting yet. Oh, you know what I like? I like that womp at the end. <sighs> that was pretty good. Felt weighty. Felt like there was real intent behind it. Like that. Um. I don't know. It didn't sell me. Not hard. Hey. I think it did better than I expected. I don't know, I feel pretty mellow about the whole thing. I'm glad they're still making Dragon Ball stuff. I thought they weren't gonna for a while. Uh, I was a little disappointed by the Broly movie. And to see them coming out with a new movie, sure, let's try again. Oh, I mean, okay, I'll say this. I was pretty hyped on the Broly movie and it kind of underwhelmed me in parts. Like, hey, there's good parts, but I don't know. I think it was the kind of the computery cell shady stuff they did in it that felt cheap. So I've got a feeling if I watch this it's gonna feel cheap too because it didn't sell me as hard as Broly Movie sold me and if Broly Movie didn't win me over, what chance do you have? Whatever this movie's called. Dragon Ball Superhero. Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Go see it. 
I think. No, wait, actually, I just watched it again. I actually think it sucked. 